Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 episode, but it's a little different this time. This is the base that I used on the speed run that didn't count because I already had the power, the power to build. Um, it is a game pass that you can purchase. Um, there's also the Super Hoover and the Super Bridge, or the the bridge pass. So you can purchase those inside the uh, game store itself on the page before you come into the game. So I had an idea. Why don't we try to build from scratch? So I already have this, which is like the best axe that is possible in solo mode. Like if you have a private server and you're playing by yourself. So I am going to need a couple of things to start, but I think what I want to do is I want to get enough money to purchase the blueprints, and in order to do that, or in, it, it, we, we should probably go for a, a big, a big chop saw. So I've got 470. What are we trying to get to? We're trying to get to 11,000 or 86,000, something like that, you know? Um, so it'll be my goal to just play. That that'll be fun. That's that's going to be amazing and awesome and fun. So the first things first is I'm going to want to get two pieces of dynamite, 220. So I've got 447 right now. Um, I've got a little car. Oh, we're going to need a big car too, aren't we? Oh gosh. I don't know if this is going to be the best way to get money. Yeah, it should be the fastest way to get money. If I chop down all of the ice trees, bring them all back, and then sell them all off, we'll see what the full uh, like impact of that profit is going to be. That should be good. Oh, the bridge takes forever. <sighs> so, I have been programming today, and I want to give a huge huge shout out to Sandy Herring because the code that I was looking at was written in uh, 1996 1998 and the code is still working today. Now granted it's a VBA script but this script it writes to the registry it makes entries, it does pop-ups, it does a whole bunch of different stuff for uh, the company that I work for. And, well, not the company that I work for, but the uh, the business company that goes with it. And the amazing thing is, this code has survived Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows uh, XP, NT, uh, Windows Me, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. It has survived all of them and still works to this day. So, um, this person, Sandy Herring, uh, left some breadcrumb trails, just a couple of little tidbits like email and stuff like that inside his code. And I wanted to say thank you. Thank you for like the inspirational code that he'd written it and everything else because it, it was just beautifully written. I love to program and everything else. And when I come across a piece of code that's been tagged, the owners there and everything else, just amazing. So I started searching him up and, and going down the rabbit hole of trying to find him, right? And uh, we found a lot of information. Huge shout out to uh, Hoofer for helping me track down a lot of the information for him. Well, we came to a halt. Like, I'd even tried some numbers that we had found to see if we could, like, call him. See if I could call him and just say, hey, I came across your code, and I'm a big fan. Huge shout out. Thank you. That's all I wanted to do. All of the numbers were disconnected, and we found his obituary. So... Sandy Herring passed away at the age of 63, and his code still lives on to this day. So, um, one of the comments that was made inside uh, Twitter 
was that's one of the beautiful things about code. It will ask, it, it will outlast you. It will live longer than you. And that's so true. You know, the, uh, the video games that we create and uh, the things that we make, our passions, they will live on. Um, just like a lot of our videos and a lot of the internet that, uh, oh, I forgot to set that off. A lot of the internet, it, it will last so much longer than us. But it really put into perspective, like, yeah, it was a sad moment when I found, found the obituary, but, oh, and for those of you that don't know, an obituary is uh, an entry um, announcing you're deceased. So, if anybody knows him, huge shout out. Brilliant, brilliant man, Sandy Herring. But I, w I want that to be a little bit of an inspiration to anybody who's starting developing or anybody who's creating games. Um, if you're creating content, stuff like that, I, I just want you to know that your memory, your legacy, will continue on for years, maybe centuries, after you've passed away. So, uh, I know it kind of kind of sets a bad tone, but at the same time, it should be something that we can talk about. Um, death. That's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of people hurting right now. And it's something that I don't normally talk about too much is suicide. And if you don't know what suicide is, that is taking your own life. A lot of people especially during this pandemic and especially during this last year, 2020, have felt very depressed. They felt isolated, they felt lonely. And I want you to know you are not alone. If you're watching this right now and you're feeling depressed, lonely, there's people to, that you can talk to. There's people you can reach out to. I know that my daughter, she has felt very isolated because she's not, she's not been able to go to school and see her friends and everything else. She's doing homeschooling and so is Ollie and um, Oliver, my son. I know myself, I, I need to talk to my coworkers every once in a while. I've been working from home and it's, it's really hard with, uh, with everything the way that it's going because you need human interaction. As much as I love to say I could I could be all by myself and be happy with a computer and an internet connection, you still need to speak to people. So, uh, Discord is at your mercy. It's it's at your whim. You can go inside Discords all the time and find people to speak to, speak your mind, say your feelings, and some people will make fun of you for it. But you know what? That's not cool oh my goodness um you should be f free to uh to express how you're feeling to to your friends if you want to say something in the comments down below or if you want to read some of the comments down below and just say how you're feeling and if you want to respond to those feelings like feel feel free my comments are, are always open to anyone who w wishes to express themselves. What it's not open to is bullying, making fun of, um, picking on someone, being mean. I, I never allow those kind of comments, but I do encourage you to speak to each other and to talk to each other. There might be somebody out there that you might not know personally, but you could possibly say something to and, and cheer them up and help them out for the day. Oh, and if you're a child right now and you're in the house with the parents, go up to them, hug them, and say, I know this has been hard, and it's okay. If not for them, then for yourself. Tell yourself, I know this has been hard, and it's going to be okay. I'm looking forward to 2021 just because it's a it's a new year, it's a new thing. By the way, this is the second episode inside Lumber Tycoon 2 uh, 2021. So I felt 
I felt a little bad about using a prior base yesterday, but if we think about it, today's base is basically new. So, new adventure, new time, new slot. So, I, I thought it was a, a nice thought, a nice memento to get things started off for the year. Now, I, I might not be playing on this base constantly, but I will try and keep this base true to no interference. No outside influences whatsoever. I'm going to go get these trees because they're about to die. Oh, don't die on me, buddy. Come on. Come with me if you want to live. Ooh, that was close. Did you see it turn black like almost instantly? Wait, what am I doing? I don't, I don't need to drive over there. Seriously? Everybody has ups and downs. And I know that you guys, you guys say it to me all the time. You're like, Code, you're such a happy person all the time. You're right. I'm very happy most of the time. But I want you to realize that my emotions and, and the things that I show you on here, okay, they're sugar-coated. There's a lot of times that, that I just don't feel like recording. There's a lot of times that I feel sad. And there's also sometimes I'll go and watch sad videos just to cry. I'll admit to it. I cry. I'm a man. I do mainly cries. I leak pride. That's that's what I do. But no, it's it's okay to cry. You're absolutely fine to cry. One of the things that uh, they really didn't say growing up is you're a man. You're supposed to be tough and everything else. Yeah, that's true. But you know what? Stuff sucks sometimes. Life sucks sometimes. And it's okay to speak about it. And it's okay to not be okay with it. You know? You, oh, 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 oh. you have a right. You have a freedom to say, you know what? I don't want to talk to anyone today. I'm having a bad day. And you shouldn't feel bad for feeling or for having emotions like that. I know. What kind of Roblox YouTuber is this guy? For those of you that are new that just subscribed today or if this is your first time watching any one of my channels, I want you to know this is the kind of gameplay that I do. Yes, we do some gameplay, but it's more of a, a commentary with emotional support in the background. Well, emotional support in the foreground and gameplay in the background. Yes, I'm still playing Lumber and I'm still relaxing, but you know what? This is like my moment of zen. This is me relaxing to some awesome music made by one of my favorite artists, uh, Kevin McLeod, 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 McLeod. I don't know how to pronounce that last name, but he makes a lot of great songs. You know, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this entire orchard down there, is it? Hmm. <laughs> Man, that thing just... Boink! It's growing already. Come on, don't die on me. Come with me. Ooh, that was much faster. Nice. Nice reload window right there. I, well, I call it reload, but it's... How many times you can strike a tree within so many seconds. We should really sit down and like time that and see what axe is the fastest. You know? Just saying. We're probably going to need to pick up a couple more of these uh, rookie axes. I have a feeling that we're going to lose some. Don't die on me. Don't die on me. Now, I did say that I was going to grab the whole orchard, but I don't think that's possible. I think they're growing faster than I can chop them. Because wasn't that one downed earlier? They are. They're growing really fast. I'll just, I'll take the big ones. Any other, like, humongous, humongioso trees? Not really. Let's let's go. Let's go. I think we're good for now. 
Rolling down backwards. Woo! <laughs> Skills. Okay. Now the only thing we're worried about right now is getting the trees back. Get these trees back over there. We, we can take probably take like, what, two at a time? Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's getting all glitchy. Don't get all glitchy on me. Come on. There we go. If I can get these to like interlock just right, they should. Hold on, I'm gonna have to turn this one like this. knocking all the other ones out. You know what? We'll fix that problem. Give me a big one. And there you go. Biggin. You're just going to sit down on top of them. Oh, no, that didn't work. Okay. Maybe you're going to sl slide right in there like that. Perfect. That's perfect. pick up one more while we're at it. Is that gonna work? No, that's not gonna work. Okay, that's that's that was horrible, horrible idea. Okay, can we just do one at a time? Oh, stay on, stay on, stay on. You're doing great. There's one of the bricks. Oh no. Uh oh. It dropped. Okay. Oh wait. Can we lay him across crossbow like that? Oh, we can. Okay. <clears throat> so. What if we were to go crisscross applesauce back and forth? Look out! After this first tree, we should have more than enough to, uh, oh, more than enough to pick up, uh, more TNT. Uh oh, come on, get off, get off, there, there you go, stay right there. We want to get them over to this side of the rocks, that way we can pick up, uh, that way we don't have to worry about more TNT. Even though we could, just saying. That was kind of loud. <clears throat> I do have the volume turned down, so we don't have to hear the song the entire time. Oh no! Oh no, I left two trees up there. That's no good. Okay, these are two trees in one, aren't they? Okay, where are you? This one. You come here. Let's lay you crossways like this. And then we're gonna lay you crossway is going the other way. Like that. Kind of interlock you. There you go. That way you can still slide, but you're going to create the base of what hooks onto my truck. Or my, my car. Because then we're going to come over the top like this. Put you down. Like that. Oh, oh come on. Interweave. Interweave. There you go. Nice. One more. One more big one. There, that one. That one there. That one's gnarly looking. And you're gonna go right in between like that. Boom. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. Get back up there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop, stop, stop. You need to interlock. Interlock. Interweaves. Interwebs. There we go. <laughs> wow, code. GG. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lost two. 
Well, at least they're a little bit closer. <laughs> Uh, how long? Have we, 20 minutes we've been recording? 20 minutes we've recorded. I think that's longer than the longest, uh, the fastest speedrun so far. You can check on the speedruns at speedrun.com, by the way, if you wanted to do the Rookie Axe run. <sighs> good morning, everyone. Or good afternoon, whatever the case may be. Somebody's gonna comment down below. It's 3 a.m. for me. Don't play Roblox while spinning, uh, while using a fidget spinner at 3 a.m. with thousand degree knives. Oh no. What, what's clickbait now? I know. I know those were some pretty clickbaity things back in the day. So, uh, should I start clickbaiting? You know, I've, I've. Wondered if I should Because you know I've never clickbaited Actually that's a complete lie There was this one time I actually made the uh, thousand degree spinning fire axe um, Fidget spinner At 3 a.m. It was a, it was a pretty cool thumbnail but it was so ridiculous, everybody knew it. They're like, oh, that's totally clickbait. That's funny, because code doesn't clickbait. Like. <sighs> what a relaxing evening. I've been worried about getting out the uh, Nintendo Switch uh, videos. The last campfire and uh, Lucky's Tale. I was worried that it was going to wear on me and I was going to like run out of en energy and stuff, but I'm, I'm not. I'm actually fully loving it. <clears throat> it's not getting, they, they are not getting as many views, but at this point, I don't care. I like playing the games, which I think is a wonderful piece of advice. Play what you enjoy. Like me, I love lumber. A lot of people are like, Code, how can you still play this game after so many years? Uh, Dufaldio doesn't even care about the game anymore. Not true. Not true at all. He's just working on something else. He's working on Projut. Which is also turning out to be an amazing game. Which I highly recommend. And I think everyone should go spend a thousand Robux on it and get the game. A thousand Robux? That's not worth it. Yeah, it's totally worth it. Okay, this is this is kind of hard to steer. Oh oh oh! You're turning, you're turning. Don't turn. Don't fall out. Stay in there. There you go. Please, no rocks. Please, no rocks. I think they regenerate every 10 minutes or something like that. I don't know how often. But as long as we get everything over to this side, we should be fine. And even if we don't, this is more than enough money. This is, this is a lot of money right here. So, I'd be very happy to spend this money. Better be careful, I'm, I'm gonna block myself in. And I was thinking, oh, I should probably reload the base and make it closer, but if I reloaded right now, all that wood would disappear because it's no longer underneath my ownership. Which is another great thing that you can do inside solos. Because I am playing in solo mode, I don't have to worry about somebody coming and picking up my wood. Now I'm gonna try and get those down up there. Yeah, we'll go for them. Am I missing any down here? I think just this one and those two up there. So, let's drop you down like that. And we'll park fairly close. But I need one of these. Here, uh, give me that one. Oh, come here.
Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's not, uh... I don't think that's thick enough, is it? Hmm. Actually, here. Let's just chop down this whole tree. It's tall enough. Thank you, Laxl Laxels, for uh, subscribing to the channel. Glad you're here. Oh, that's a really tall tree. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? too much weight on it. Let's uh, let's trim this up a little bit. Just a little. Oh, that's coming out of the center. Wow. Now, if you think about it, this is one model. Inside Roblox Studio, it comes up as like a singular model. Every time you chop it like this, that piece just became a new model. That piece just became a new model. So I wonder where he keeps all the models at, you know? Oh, that's easier. That is much easier. Thank you. Uh-oh. I, I missed. I missed. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're tilting. You're tilting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you. Grab that one. Go down there. Grab this one. You, oh, you go down there. Did I miss any? Nope, that's it. Okay. Here we go. See if I can do that that cross uh, cross interlace again. Okay, so you you are going to lay down this direction, nice and easy. Push, push, and then you are going to lay down the opposite direction. Like this. Oh, oh, come back some. Just like that, maybe. Then you are going to lay down over the back and interlace. You have to interlace. Interlock. Nice. Did you see them all like stop moving there for a second? <laughs> I have no clue how much I'm going to get from all this. Right now I've got seven money. Oh gosh. I don't even have enough money to like buy a good axe. Oh no! No! Are we going to be able to get back through? I don't even have enough money for a new car. Why is there so much? Oh, oh, oh. Is there a gap? Is there a gap right there that I see? Well, there was. And now it's gone. It's gone for good. Okay, okay. We'll just... We'll just leave you right there. Leave you in the car. Let's go get all of this. We're gonna have to walk this all over. Ugh. Oh, and I'm gonna have to go and, and walk all the stuff to the sales place, aren't I? Oh, that sucks. 
Okay. Okay. Bit of a walk. <sighs> Tell you what, the first thing I'll do is I'll get some money and then I will go and um, re-up my car. <laughs> been 30 minutes but you know what we could go for a little bit longer I'm having fun so um actually you know what boom I'm gonna cut this into uh two episodes all right so thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me Heath Haskins Code Primate don't forget to like comment subscribe down below do all those things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good youtuber does and we will talk to you in the next one <sighs> outro Oh wait, you don't have to subscribe. Not unless you want to, it's your choice. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.